Recently, I made a video on the Nikon D750, setting it up like the D850 for bird and wildlife photography. And what I thought I'd do today in this video, oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen that video, I'll just leave it up here for you to have a look at a bit later on. But what I thought I'd do today is come down here to the Burndall wetlands, put my money where my mouth is, and do some bird photography with the D750 using those settings. It's just coming into nesting season here and I'm hoping to capture a lot of bird life on this fantastic morning. Sure enough, it wasn't long before I spotted this bird having a tug of war with some bark on this tree. Success, and I'm sure that bit of bark will make a lovely extension to the nursery. Okay, so I just saw a, a little rainbow beater. I can just see him sitting over on a branch here. So we're in the area where these rainbow beaters make their nests. And I've got one over here, it's just sitting on the branch over here. This group area autofocus. So the thing about the rainbow bead is you can actually tell by looking at their tails whether they're male or female. I think it's the longer tail that they're a male and that their shorter tail means that they're a female. This guy's just sitting up here on the branch just having a nice old look in the sun. Just group area autofocus right on top of him. And he's joined by another friend, just flew over. Okay, they've just flown off. I think I got a shot or two there. So one of the reasons why I did come out here today is that on that settings video that I did for the D750, I did get a few little messages from people, you know, kind of disagreeing with the settings I was using. But look, people are entitled to their own opinion and I respect that. And if they have settings that they're happy with and they're getting great results, then by all means use those settings. What I'm doing today is just putting the proof in the pudding and I'm showing you the type of results I get with the settings that I use. As I made my way around the wetlands on the boardwalk, I was just amazed at the amount of bird species I had spotted. I just want to say I'm having so much fun. It's just such a beautiful day and I've seen an amazing array of birds so far. I've seen rainbow bees, I've seen kingfishers, I've seen little finches, I've seen black cormorants out there swimming and getting all their food. Oh, nature, you gotta love it. just seen two kingfishers through here. I'm just going to very slowly sneak up with them. I can just see his face through. I'm going to go at 400 mil. Group area autofocus. He's just got his face in the sun for me. Got him. Got him. 
These little kingfishers are common in this area and I just love their little blue wings when the sun hits them, giving off this beautiful glow. Oh, I can tell you, walking out in nature, it is just so beautiful. On my way back to the car, I spotted another rainbow bee eater. I waited patiently, poised and ready to try and get another flying shot. Anyone who's photographed these birds will definitely know how fast these guys move in flight. so lucky in the timing of this shot. The rainbow beater was just taking the first flap of its wings to take flight from the branch. Well, what a fantastic day it's been here at the Burndall Wetlands doing some Nikon D750. <laughs> What's this? Hang on, have a look at this. Somebody's just put a little giraffe here. <laughs> a giraffe. Thank you so much for watching. You can always feel free to subscribe to my channel. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.